F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fans? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews with friend request friends to watch Grand. Torino yes we have another movie request and this one is from Killstorm thank you brother you've been with us from pretty much damn near the beginning you've been following us man we appreciate the request Grand Torino I have no idea what we about to get into but I know Clint Eastwood is the star I have seen the poster for this um the only Grand uh no Clint Eastwood movie I've seen was Million Dollar Baby. And that one was uh, a pretty dope film. So, I expect this one to be good. And, and on top of that, everybody's been hitting it out of the park with these movie requests. So, I expect nothing less. How about you, Former? How you feel going into this new movie request? I feel great, man. Like Broly said, y'all been knocking out of the park. Shout out to Killstorm, man. You... You know, you do your thing, man. You engage a lot with us, too. So we appreciate you for that. Um, but yeah, Million Dollar Baby as well. That's the only clip Eastwood movie I've seen. And I know, I just know a lot of people, you know, normally talk about him. Like they, you know, like he's, to me, Clint Eastwood is about as impactful to my life as goddamn, who that other dude? Chuck Norris. Like, but those are two, <laughs> <laughs> those are two uh, gentlemen that people love to talk about. Like they're the greatest um, but in Million Dollar Baby, he was just an angry old man. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect from Gran Torino, um, except for the fact that people have spoken about this movie in the past, um, as well as in the Discord, not just Killstorm. So I'm expecting for it uh, to be a banger. Let's do it. Listen, y'all, we're not going to hold you here any longer. We're just going to dive into this movie, yo. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and also don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get there, though, is if you click that button, also click that bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, Storms. Let's see what you got. Give us what you got. Sat, sat, sat. I already like that music though, low key. Grand Torino. I like that. Let me switch this up real quick. Already starting sad. Yep. At a funeral. I'm real sorry about Dorothy Walt. She was a real peach. Wow. Thanks for coming okay. out. His wife? Yeah. So this is how we start the movie? His wife funeral? Is some God of War? <laughs> Look at that man face. <laughs> he looked like he mad that all these kids are here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Belly button rings. You're too young for that. Yeah. He's one of those old, yeah. <laughs> Spectacles, testicles, more like you watch. Wow. Disrespect. Now that's disrespect. Yeah, for real. Ring him out the neck. Yeah, I would have been on his ass for that. Ring, yep. Come here. You owe me five. Expects his granddaughter to dress a little more modest. You know, when your kid's wearing a Lions jersey, I'm sure Dad appreciates that. Tim. What I'm trying to make is that there's nothing anyone can do that won't disappoint the old man. Inevitable. Okay. Yep, they on the same wave we are. Yeah, they the say. <laughs> Why don't you have him move in with you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even finish that with a straight face. Well, they're setting the stage for this man. <laughs> uh oh. Just like Million Dollar Baby, a grumpy old man. Uh oh. Is this your hero? <laughs> and some may ask, what is death? Is it the end? And what is life? What is this thing we call life? All of these questions can frustrate you at The disrespect. And that's why you have to turn to the Lord. Jesus. Because the Lord is the sweetness. Damn. 
Jesus. Jesus. I think I'm actually going to like this, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I was hating for far away, but now that I'm closer. That's Greg Walsh. Through mm. Platoon E Company, March 2nd, 1952, Korea. Mm. Okay. Most Korea. He's in the Korean War. I go down to the basement and get some chairs. Oh, I can do that. Oh, uh, I need them now, not next week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Straightforward and direct. Yep. They bought the. He bought the oh. cast there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why shit? Like you might as well just try to run past his ass. I would have put them to work. Just giving the old man noises. <sighs> How much longer do we have to stay? This ghetto is a dead zone for myself, and I'm. Wow, this ghetto? That's what they meant when he, they said where he lives? Yep. Come on. At least he got a dog. I was just gonna say, old man gotta have a dog, right? Gotta have a pup. How many swamp rats can you get in one room? <laughs> That's Damn. disrespectful. He says swamp rats, though. This is this. Uh, yeah, this is this is old old white man on the front porch with a shotgun. You ain't gonna get me out of my neighborhood. Wow, Grandpa, when'd you get the uh, vintage car? Hmm. Nineteen seventy-two. Uh, oh. Many years since before you were born. It's about a car. What are you gonna do with it when you, like, die? <laughs> wow. Then what about that super cool retro couch that you have in the den? And I think it would look really good in my dorm room, and I don't have any furniture at all. This damn. I'm all down for spitting to show disrespect, but to the grandkids, <laughs> <laughs> Get the shit out of your mouth. Tell I, me um, what you want. Damn. You need any jumper cables? My uncle's car is Oh, we don't have any jumper cables. Damn. Okay. How are you holding up, Walt? Mr. Kowalski. Huh? Right. Mr. Kowalski. Your wife and I became quite close these last few months. She asked that I watch over you when she passed on. I told her I watch over my entire flock, but she made me promise I'd keep an extra sharp eye on you. Now that you've spoken your piece, why don't you go tend to some of your other sheep? <laughs> Okay. This is hardcore. Specifically, that it was her desire for you to go to confession. She said she couldn't remember the last time you went. And I confess that I have no desire to confess to a boy that's just out of the seminary. Damn. <laughs> this man is showing why everyone was disrespectful at the funeral. Mmm, I would have went next door. With For the real? swamp rats. What you talking what, about? What we got going on over here? It's a birthday. You feel me? One side's mourning, one side's celebrating. Mm hmm <laughs> His voice is crazy. Oh, he ain't got no jumper cables though, right? Is he actually helping the, the people who asked originally though? I don't know. Hell no. Come on, wait to the no no no. Come on, come on. Kill you to buy America. Told you to buy American. <laughs> this dude is the poster boy right now. Oh. Yeah, barbarians. <laughs> nah. If, I mean, can't kill it yourself. Why, why eat it? Mm -hmm. As a life passes, one is born. Hmm, shoot it. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> He's going to grow. Have a good life and grow old. What the hell did Shinks have to move into this neighborhood for? <laughs> they say the same <laughs> shit. Damn. Damn. Oh, let's go. Holy <laughs> shit. Hers was way bigger. 
I love it. She understood the assignment, buddy. <laughs> Hi there, Walt. Walt? Look, I'm not a friend of yours. Why do you insist on calling me Walt? You feel me? Sorry? I'd really like to talk, Mr. Kowalski. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Sonny. Damn. 27-year-old overeducated virgin. You should have never asked him. <laughs> Yo! Hey! Is you a, is you a boy or is you a girl, man? I can't tell. Damn. When you was in a pen? Fuck you with the ass would be my bitch. <laughs> he laughing at y'all, bro. What the fuck? Who what? admits to Oh shit. Mmm. The Asian gangsters about to get on y'all for fucking with a civilian. An Asian that's civilian. Cousin so what that's your cousin, man? Okay, that's my little cousin. Let's go down and see what the fuck they doing over there. Oh. He says my little cousin. Everybody my little cousin. Well, <laughs> they put the 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 Honda. You see that? <laughs> with the fucking this wing on the back. definitely the ghetto. <laughs> All it takes is one gun way to be quick. drawn. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. There we go. Y'all need to get that yeah. window to roll all the way down, though. Yeah. In the back. Man pulled out the ooh ah. The ooh rah. Come on, man. Get in the car, man. Oh. Hell no, I ain't getting in the car, car with y'all. Come on, man. Get in the car, man. There's fucking five of y'all in that small ass thing. Tomorrow, I'll What does that mean? Come on, man. Tomorrow what? You feel me? Do it right now. I'm gonna Shit, you like. Tomorrow what? You save my ass today, you gonna kick my ass tomorrow? What the fuck? Hey, Tom. Oh, shit. It's, a, it's today, tomorrow? Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Tom? Wait, are they supposed to be the Pyrus in the neighborhood? <laughs> it Why said Pyru on the wall back then. It did? What do you want? Yeah. What? what? You can't just come talk to my little cousin? Hey, Spider, who that? What's up? Spider? Is that what he just called you? Bong? Ooh. Spider. <laughs> Spider. Hey, so how old are you anyway? Mentally, I'm way too old for you. Damn. What? Hit him with that. You what? stupid. I'm going inside. <laughs> Back in the day, everybody used to want to beat me up, dude. But now look, nobody want to fuck with me. Come on, man. Let's go. Don't nobody know you, man. We're cuz, right? We're family. Look, a brother to Spider is a brother to me. Mm. Come on. Damn. Peer Man. pressure. Got him. I would have been like, nope, I'm good. I got to go take a shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spider told me my boy next door got a badass web. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, shit. Damn. Nice. He immediately knew he had to do something. <laughs> I thought we was just hanging out. <laughs> That's a nice car. That is yeah. a beautiful car. Grand Torino. There you go. Ignorance is bliss. I didn't even know Grand Torino was the actual. A Jew and a colored guy go into a bar. The bartender looks up and says, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this dude does not quit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was whack, but funny. Like, <laughs> man, just disrespectful. You are persistent, aren't you? Promised your wife. I love a paps and a shoddy jack. Have a Diet Coke. Bullshit, this is a bar, you have a drink. Um, I'll have a gin and tonic. <laughs> Atta boy. Well, you're kind of fond of promising things you can't deliver on, right, Father? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> what the hell do you know about life and death? Mm. I'd like to think I know a lot. I'm a priest. I think well, death is bittersweet. Sort of bitter in its pain, but sweet in its salvation. Mm. That's what you know about life. That's what he quote, yep. Quoting them. What do you know, Mr. Kowalski? Mm. I know a lot. We shot men, stabbed them with bayonets, hacked 17 year olds to death with shovels. Mm. But things I'll live with. Mm. And what about life? Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. It's mm. a nice counter. Maybe so, Father. <laughs> Maybe so. There you have it. Oh shit, they're doing that tonight. Mmm. Dang, he got some. Hey. This shit looking like the last of us, sniper. They playing the damn. This is him by himself. Oh. 
Oh. Wow. Does he even know what happened? Like, I feel like he don't even know what the fuck just happened to himself. So I gotta put the burglar bars up. Hello. Hey, good morning, Dad. It's your number one son, Mitch. <laughs> morning. So what do you want? Any and every little thing, huh? What? No, I just nothing. Call. I mean, what would I want? Well, I don't know. Your wife's already gone through all your mother's jewelry. Damn. Lions season tickets. This man. I I was just gonna say, hang up on his ass. Yeah, I don't want nothing. Psych. That's kids for you. Oh my God, this is beautiful. It's crazy. He a gangster, bro. He brought that shit out the next day and parked it in the front, like. <sighs> Come on. Man, I left that hole. Y'all better not try two days in a row. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's about to see. What are you doing out here, man? Nothing. Minding our own business. I told what? you guys already. Can't I just come hang out with my little cousin? Nah. You feel me? How bored you gotta be to come fuck with your little cousin every day? Don't go, Tom. Mind your own business, girl. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come. Mmm. Jumped on his ass. The hell, mad people just wow, came out of nowhere. Wow, old man. What the hell is this? Mmm. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off my lawn. You fucking crazy? Go back in the house. Yeah, I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house. Mm. And I sleep like a baby. Mm. I used to stack fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Use you for sandbags. Mm. Damn. He said, damn, this man is on a different level of disrespect. Yeah, once they said he was in the Korean War and then they showed his He's, neighbors. Bruh, he I said, I'll use y'all as sandbags. That is crazy mm. visuals. Was a savage. What? I get it. Like he he lived through a certain time, like time period. But get off my lawn. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. How predatory you gotta be to try and force a nigga to steal a car? Like that's the biggest liability is somebody who doesn't want to do something. <laughs> they figure, <laughs> they, oh, we could do they're it. They're gonna and, fuck it up and reap all the benefits because it's gonna we're gonna put it all on him. Damn. Brought him some, some food as a thank you. Damn! Damn. <laughs> you feel me? Wow! Like one Those plate. are great neighbors. What is this? It's a thank you. Oh my god! Duck? Full duck? You feel me? Shit! Damn this! <laughs> and they still bringing him no, shit. No, 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 no! Come on! <laughs> the whole family coming through like. <laughs> you walk right past his ass. You deal with it. Once I give it to you. Because you saved how? I didn't save anybody. I just, I kept a bunch of jabbering gooks off of my lawn. Well, you're That's a hero all. to the neighborhood. I'm not a hero. Too bad. They see, I don't think he knows that he was in his garage. He probably didn't see him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Mm. For, for trying to steal your car. <laughs> Let me tell you something, boy. Mm. You step on this property again, you're done. Mm. If he wasn't so hot headed, he would probably understand what's going on here. <laughs> the grandma's like, fuck that, I ain't moving. It's facts. She the, <laughs> she the keep, I mean, she the man of the house, like she said. That's why she mad. <laughs> we didn't call the police. We reacted. We're not in Korea, Mr. <laughs> facts. 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 Things done during war are terrible. Being ordered to kill, killing to save yourself, killing to save others. You're right. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sins, admitted their guilt, and left their burdens behind them. Mm. Stronger men than you. Mm. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Padre. You came here with your guns loaded this time. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yo. He did. The 
thing that haunts a man the most is what he isn't ordered to do. Hmm. I thought I wasn't going to like the preacher, but he's he's a good uh, contrast to this dude. Mm -hmm. I was always hoping you'd die off and I'd get somebody in here who knew what the hell they were doing. Instead, you just keep hanging around like a <laughs> doo-wop dago you are. That would be 10 bucks, Walt. <laughs> 10 bucks. Jesus Christ, Mark. Are you half Jew or something? You oh, my God. Yo, he get on everybody. Five years, you hard-nosed. Somebody had to give it back to his ass. Uh, the good old days. Man, look at this. Oh, look at this. Shit. Mom, check this out. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. Bring that little tight ass over here. Come here, girl. Why y'all just stop? You f <laughs> What you supposed to be, man? Nah, it's cool, dog. <laughs> what the fuck you doing in my neighborhood, boy? Put the black voice on. Bro, 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 See on their head. When to quit, do you? I'm gonna teach your ass a lesson. That's what you can get. Stop! Put your ass over there. <laughs> like, the bullying is just terrible. Yeah. What the hell are these spooks up to? Mm. <laughs> you better get your ass on, Hunky, while I still let you. That's right, That's you better do. Yo, he shitted on every race already so far, <laughs> bro. Like, he should think it'll stop. Ooh. Is that Is a that ratchet? A monkey wrench? Is that a wrench of it? Like, yeah, monkey wrench. What the fuck are you? Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? Mmm. There we go. That's me. That spit. That's me. Mm. Now, hey, pops. Come on, now. Exactly. Shut your fucking face. Now get in the truck. Get in the truck, Coach. <laughs> get in the girl. Shit. Way to go, old man. Shut up, pussy. <laughs> Damn, he shit it on him, too. Hell yeah, because he's a pussy. These guys don't want to be your bro, and I don't blame them. Now get your old fake fatty <laughs> ass on down the road. <laughs> This yo, these guys ain't your bro. Don't no, blame him. <laughs> Take care now. He is a pussy though, man. That was your chance to get jumped. Yeah, you too. Oh, y'all respectful now, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo. That was a correct response. <laughs> he was talking to Bradley, great dude. Trying to get yourself killed. I thought you Asian girls were supposed to be smart. Jesus. You don't stop. Uh, I, I know. I know. Take it easy. Where the hell is a monk? I, I mean, mom, anyway. <laughs> wow. You're so enlightened, you know that? Exactly. Educate them. This is your chance. Yeah. Well, how did you end up in my neighborhood then? Why didn't you stay there? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Jungle people want to be in the great frozen time. Hill people. Mm. We're hill people, not jungle people. Mm. Booga, booga, booga. <laughs> <laughs> see, she, yeah, she got a good soul, man. But what about that dimwit brother of yours? Oh, he shit. slow or something. How is actually really smart. He just he doesn't know which direction to go in. Mm. <sighs> yeah, some relaxation. With your best friend. <laughs> you think we're going to get a scene like that? Were they on the same porch together? I hope so. I hope so. That would be dope. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you feel me? It's terrible. 
Ain't got no parents in the crib. You gotta be outside. Mmm. Okay. Buddy from next door came across the street. How about that? Yup. How about that, Daisy? You gonna be like Gabby, have a change of heart? Mmm, <laughs> carried it and everything. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm, <laughs> she said, yeah, I see you. <laughs> 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 hey, I think I seen that gif actually. <laughs> With that face. Might be from this movie actually. Oh my so you god. Can, uh, reach stuff. That makes things a lot easier. They trying to age this man out. Maybe it's time you started thinking about uh, taking it easier. Thing, really should. You trying to put him in a retirement home, sell his house? Yep. Kicking us out on his birthday. I told you this was a bad idea. I know you were right. Yeah, you won't let anybody help him. Well, we tried. Can we just drop it? Yeah, I'm trying to help yourself. Exactly. Well, at least they were smart enough to not come. The goddamn kids have more sense than we do. Uh, we miss my. How? <laughs> How is that possible? You're a fucking grown adults, like. Hey, Walt. What are you up to? Yeah, yeah. Barbecue, you want to come over? Exactly. Bring the beer. What do you think? Just keep your hands off my dog. No worries. <laughs> we only eat cats. Damn. She is a pro, bruh. She is a pro. She has thick skin. Mm hmm Because if that was nowadays, offended of dribble. Would we'll never approach this man ever again. Okay, so what have you had to eat today? No, exactly. We've got beer, too. And I bet if you don't go, she'll bring him a plate. Mm. I might as well. Exactly. Hey, Chris he coming over for real the beer cookout, too. bro. Don't. This well, nigga going to other people's fridge. <laughs> Here it is. Uh -huh. Fool. 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 No, no, she's not. Exactly. <laughs> Never touch a person on their head. Not even a child. Most people believe that the soul resides on the head. So, uh, okay, that's why they did the head touch during the ritual, the celebration. Tend to smile or grin when they're yelled at. It's a cultural thing. It expresses embarrassment or insecurity. It's not that they're laughing at you or anything. Hmm, that's interesting. No, I kind of agree with that. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's interesting because you do feel like that on the inside, but you don't express it normally. Like, so it's like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh man. Thanks. You know, you mentioned about uh, looking at people. And he's been staring at me the whole evening. <laughs> that's Corku. He's a more family shaman. <laughs> It says the way you live, your food has no flavor. <laughs> the fuck? That shit just turned left. Like a mistake that you did. You're not satisfied with? Mm. Uh, huh. Okay, now it's getting deep. He says you have no happiness in your life. Mm. It's like you're not at peace. Mm. What he told the uh, the priest, it's not what they tell you to do, it's what they don't. He definitely did some shit at that war, probably. He's on his last legs. He like, fuck, fuck everything and everybody. I got more in common with them. That shit hitting him. Happy birthday. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I just had to talk to myself. Straight to their face, yo. Good, good. Food. Look at this. Surrounded by women. This is only getting straight This served. is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's way too much food, though. That's good. Oh, this is where all the youngins is at. I know, right? The teen zone. Well, well, well. Look who's over there. Yeah, kid is still in the French arena. My brother, Tao. Tried to. Tried to, yeah. He got towed. 
How's she gonna bring them to the teen zone? Like, I should have left them up at the table. Damn, she is. Like, straight in front of the dude who right in her face. Hi, Walt. I'm Yua. Yeah. No, Yua. <laughs> I, I even fixed the door that hadn't even broken yet. He definitely saw us. Hey, yeah, he's, he's at least a lot more pleasant when he saw us. Yeah. You know, I knew you were a dipshit the first time I ever saw you. <laughs> then I thought you were worse with women than you are at stealing cars. <laughs> he just hates everything unmanly about him. <laughs> it's not told. It's Tao. My name is Tao. Yeah, well, you're blowing it with that girl that was there. Not that I give two shits about a toad like you. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, Abel. I know exactly what I'm talking about. You mean you are? Yeah, yum yum. Yeah, nice girl. Nice girl. Very charming girl. I talked with her. <laughs> you know why? Because you're a big fat pussy. Damn. <laughs> Yo, I fucking love this. <laughs> oh, one and no for toxic masculinity. <laughs> well, he he like ten and no right now. <laughs> nah, the count. We don't know the count. That man. Yeah, it's we don't know the count. This man infinite. is beyond that. This man definitely sigma. Oh my god. What's in there? What's that? Open it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bring those that those in. chicken dumpling things you made. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> those shits hit, boy. Better than beef jerky out there. Exactly. Oh, shit. Exactly. Yo, he he's said it's better up. than beef jerky. He's fucking. He's coming around. He is. My mama said he dishonored the family, and now he has to work off his debt. Mm. Tomorrow morning. Oh, no, not tomorrow. Yeah. Not Teach him, yeah. I didn't want him on my property. Why is this being put back on me all of a sudden? He's the one who tried to steal me. He exactly. He has to, the family. And he has to make it good with you. You can't just say I'm sorry, and that's it. Alia, if he doesn't want to do it, then, then let's just go. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Damn. <laughs> she already knew what she was going to say. She started saying it. She started translating before she said anything. Yeah, you understand tradition. There you go, old man. You just go over there and count the birds. You want me to count the birds? Yeah, you can count. All you slopes are supposed to be good at math, this right? <laughs> this man on his Mr. Miyagi, like, count some birds? What's that going to do for me? I don't care if you insult me or say racist things. Because you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, of course you'll take it. Because you have no teeth, you have no balls, kid. Mm. Yeah, ain't wrong about that. How long do I have you for? Till next Friday. Okay, get to it. When you get finished with that roof there, you can, uh, you can, you can take that gutter and nail it back up. I'm tired of looking at it in the last three years. <laughs> Damn, three years. <laughs> Teaching this man how to pay back. Gotta be the man of the house, man. And they needed him to helping the upgrade. neighborhood. Gotta love it. It's a great thing. Grandpa says he wants to know if you can have told clear out the big wasp nest under our porch. Mm, wasp nest? Wasp nest. Well, that's terrible. For real. Yeah. Well, I think we can handle that after lunch. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's fucked up. Wow. This got man the getting whole... requests from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't got nothing for it, but everyone else do. Shit. Has it been a week yet? Hey, it's, it's my last day. So what else do you have for me to do? Graduate today. Take the day off. You've done enough. Toad. Good. Nothing. Never mind. Good job. Oh, come on, man. You feel me? You did great. I got you, man. You did a great job, man. Okay, yep. Let's get the news. Clint Eastwood is crazy. Cancer or something. You know, that's the moment when he was supposed to put his hand behind his back when his son. He didn't because he was too scared. Mr. Kowalski? Good morning. What happened to Dr. Feldman, my regular doctor? Uh, Dr. Feldman retired three years ago. I'm his replacement. Mm. Damn. You. That's how long it's been since you friggin' went to the doctor. Don't do him, go, sir. You talk to him. He's your father. <laughs> That's so good. Hey, Dad. Ah, you bet shit, 
Uh, it's me, your dad. Yeah, I know. How about work? Busy. In fact, uh, sad. Speaking of busy, uh, I got a lot on yep. my plate right now. So if there's not something pressing, uh... <laughs> no, not something pressing. No, not at all. It's nice talking. Yep, and if his father passed away the next day, he would hate himself forever for giving up on that phone call. Yep. Exactly. Think about it. When your dad ever call you and start asking about family and shit, he stay shitting on your wife. Like, you gotta think. These motherfuckers think. be so emotional and prideful. Yep. This kid doesn't have a chance. <laughs> This kid doesn't have a chance. Mm. <laughs> He's too real, bro. Yeah. That man said, "Oh, you in my neighborhood?" I think I seen a. I think I seen a gif of that too. This movie done birthed a couple of memes and gifs. Well, it may come as a surprise to a thief. I bought this stuff, everything in here, with my own money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why yeah, he hasn't he told him yet, though? Told him what? Like, I was kind of forced to do it. Uh, or at least persuaded. <clears throat> I knew, like, Walt probably wouldn't care. He'd probably tell you you should have stood on your ten. Yeah, that's true. Wire cutters. You know, it's a troll. Come on. And those are shears right there, and that's a saw. That's a tack hammer. You can't fool me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. These three items right here. You can have this. WD-40. <laughs> Duct tape and some <laughs> He could get shit done with that. That's facts. Though, That's all we key. needed back in the days. <laughs> Damn, that shit looks that? like it's clot. Nothing. What? Nothing, huh? I just saw you cut the blood. That's not good. You should really see a doctor. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Those guys were here the other night. There we go. <clears throat> On my lawn. What about them? Oh, what were they doing here? They were gonna take me away and they were kind of pissed that i blew my first initiation my gran torino these wow like bro you should have christ old friday you would have never <laughs> come on man you too old for this <laughs> by yourself you feel me we're young in that we're told i'm tired of having to sit around down in the basement there boy what was that trying to deep freeze freezer yeah Dylan's this one kind of died. Okay. Hell yeah. 25 bucks and it's yours. All that food they be cooking? I know, but this will save me money putting an ad in the paper. Come on, let's wheel uh, over to okay. your place. Nah, he just care about you a little bit. He ain't trying to admit it yet. That's all. Yep. This, he already knew your, your, your freezer was messed up. What? Look at this. <laughs> Letting him touch his car, wash it after trying to yeah. steal it. He definitely yeah, saw off now. He's doing it all over I mean, look what he got on his plate right now. It's nice of you to kind of look after him like this. Serious no, I'm stuff, serious. Man. He was really hard on us, really traditional, and really old school. Yeah, well, I'm old school. Mm. Yeah, but you're an American. Mmm. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly. Yeah, tradition ain't even that half as tough as ours. Saved him from that fucked cousin of ours. Hey, watch your language, lady. Mm -hmm. You're a good man. I'm not a good man. Get me another beer, dragon lady. This one's empty. <laughs> Relentless, <laughs> yo, son. I like. How deep are we in? He's still surprising me with the shit he says. What's that emblem supposed to mean, anyways? Your ancient club scout emblem. No disrespect. First cavalry. I've had it since '51. Mm -hmm. mm. I put the steering column in this uh, Grand Torino in 1972, mm. right on the line. Mm. Oh, you are old. This. So cool. He literally just said he had that damn lighter since the 50s. I can get a job. You can get a job anywhere. Like what? Well, how about construction? Me? Yeah. Construction? Yeah. Do you have Alzheimer's or something? No. <laughs> of course, I have to make a little adjustment and man you up a little bit. <laughs> man you up. Man me up. And I think you ought to date Miss Yum Yum, too. Mmm. You ain't forget about that. Now you're just going to learn how guys talk. You just listen to the way he's bringing him to the vet bar. Back and forth. You okay? You I don't ready? know, sir. Is he? Right. Oh, the barber shop. Barber shop. Okay. The barber shop talk. <laughs> he's looking at. <laughs> Pull lock and a chain. Mmm. 
How you doing, Martin? You crazy Italian prick. Yeah, kid, why don't you start with, um, hi, or hello? <laughs> yeah, just come in and say, uh, sir, I'd like a haircut if you have the time. Yeah, be polite, but don't kiss ass. Son of a bitch, I just got my brakes fixed, and those sons of bitches really nailed me. I mean, they screwed me right in the ass. <laughs> yeah, don't swear at the guy. Just talk about people who are not in the room. Say, now go out. Come back and talk to him. And it ain't rocket science, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have a job, a card, or a girlfriend. Jesus. I should have blown his head off when I had the <laughs> okay, so, no, okay, I want you to turn around. Oh, man, they set this kid up so bad. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I need a haircut. If you ain't too busy, you old Italian son of a bitch prick barber. <laughs> Boy, does my ass hurt from all the guys in my construction job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yo. He had, to, he had to laugh. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that, was that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that ending was perfect. <laughs> my fucking cheeks hurt, bro. This movie is funny. Drunken Irish goon, how the hell are you? I'm shitty. Well, who's gonna listen? Okay, uh, this is the kid I was telling you about. Uh, Tao, this is Tim Kennedy. He's from oh, Super. Shit, he called him Tao. You, uh, you speak English? Yes, sir. Were you born here? You bet. I see that uh, Walt drove you here. Just My head gets no. me cracked. And the goddamn pricks at the shop wants to bend me over for 2100 Oh, please. I just replaced a tranny in my Tahoe. The sons of bitches. <laughs> he picked it up. Come on in on Monday and uh, we'll find something for you to do. Bro, is this, this got to be like Tim. a couple of days after the barbershop, right? Because you, uh, you owe me one, Walt. Yeah. What are we doing? What do you want to do? Carry your tools in a rice bag? Just <laughs> like in a rice bag, yo. <laughs> 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 Who wrote this shit, yo? Yo, Who super racist. Who like, wrote this? They man? was like, uh, they hired the clan to write this shit, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, I really appreciate all this. Say the utility belt is. No, I, I really personal. do. Thank you. It is. It is. Oh shit! He about to get robbed. Uh, up on. Come on. Movie was going so well. You know yeah. it is, bro. Whenever there's gang members in a movie and there's an alleyway, yep. it's going to be a rap. That's <laughs> facts. <laughs> That's <laughs> facts. <laughs> Yo, why is that? That's just a Hollywood fucking. What's the phrase I'm looking for? Fuck him up. Oh, yeah. Huh? Sammy. Face. <laughs> oh. Respectful. Ah! And he's holding it there. Oh, mm. fuck. What the hell happened to you? <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? It's not your problem. Gotta teach Wait. this man some combat. I did everything I could possibly do. But the book's only your tools. I'll, I'll replace them. Go in my garage and get it. Now teach him how to swing these damn tools, Walt. People. <laughs> Stop he it. He talking about he did everything he could do. He didn't fight back. He ain't built for that. I know, but and on top of these this, niggas not neither. Them. Yeah, but there's six you, of them. You crack one of their ass, they probably all go running. Hell no. Yeah, I know the one. Hell one no. Did have a Uzi like. You feel me like you wow. We don't that. know that shit might be empty. That's exactly what I was about to say. All he gotta do is follow the car. Wow. <laughs> Don't do this. He just gonna try to scare him straight. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. See that? Ooh. 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 Where your boys at? <laughs> you would tell your friends to stay away from Tao. And if they don't listen to you, you tell them you don't want to see him anymore. That's it. I'll take that as a yes, because if I have to come back here, it's going to get fucking ugly. Mm. Fucking ugly. <sighs> Was that a good idea, though? Probably not. You know, it's always got to escalate. Why do we have to end this movie? Why can't it be a good ending? Why can't we have him on the porch with Grandmama both spitting their shit? Uh, look, now, yum yum. If 
he doesn't ask you out, I'm going to ask you. This? <laughs> well, it's a walk, but he beats you to it. Mm. No kidding. How about that? No. It only makes sense. The title pointed towards this car. This all makes sense. Yeah, I'd let you take the Grand Torino. This is really? beautiful. Yeah, really. Doesn't leave the driveway ever, so. I, I'm just worried about the cousins running up on him while he's away from the property. In the in the Grand Torino. I don't. Speak. Oh, shit. Drive up. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, they firing at his house. They pussy for that. They pussy. Not even Yo. shooting at Walt's house. Straight puss. Oh, y'all better not hurt grandmama. Straight puss. Is everybody all right? Oh. oh. Is that glass or a bullet? This. Yup. Make sure. Be real. Exactly. Well, maybe some of her friends called and they changed plans. Mm. Yeah. She said Sue. I don't think she said it. Yep. <laughs> Grandma. Oh, shit. for that shit that man said we was geared up we was geared to lose the people at war but this shit is different i'm losing my fucking besties that i never thought would be my besties wow i'm okay you know, real conversation Police finally left tao and sue are never gonna find peace in this world hmm. as long as that gang's around until they go away you know forever forever you know what that means. He's, he's confessing, basically. What are you saying? You know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know before it happens, brother. If I was Tao, I guess I'd want vengeance. I want to stand shoulder to shoulder with you and kill those guys. And you? What would I do? I'd come over here and talk to you, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to talk you out of it. I know you're close with these people, but this pisses me off too, Mr. Kowalski. isn't fair let's hear it fair. speak okay. your truth father padre what are you gonna do Walt? i don't know whatever it is they won't have a chance these are my confessions uh... what are you doing thinking <laughs> thinking this man <laughs> the old with man the sweat he's, he's seen it <laughs> no don't let me down, Walt. Not you. Don't let me this down. This is going to end today. Relax, kid. He got you. Sit down. I say we go now. Right now. And what? Kill that cousin of yours and the rest of those zips? Mr. Tough Guy out for blood all of a sudden? Hmm. You know nothing about it. Facts. I know, I know. Give me a break, please. The first time I've ever smoked in the house. Let a man enjoy himself. With your girl. <laughs> All finished. Ten dollars American. Nice. This man trying to look good for his casket. Yep. Keep the change. It's just in case you hit my juggler. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Kowalski? I'm here for a confession. There mm. it is. Oh, Jesus, what have you done? Nothing. Uh, easy now. Uh, what are you up to? 1968, I kissed Betty Jablonski at the factory Christmas party. Mmm. Adultery. I was never very close with my two sons. I don't know them. Mm. I, I didn't know how. That's it? It's, all, it's bothered me most of my life. <laughs> this man want to hear your war stories and shit. God loves you and forgives you. 
I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are you going to retaliate for what happened to Sue? Look, that's all you care about. Busy day. Gotta go. Hmm. Go in peace. Oh, I am at peace. Hmm. You feel yep. me? I just got that shit off my chest. Like, <laughs> don't you remember what you told me? The callbacks. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Here it is. Hmm. He said he was the only yeah, one that can. I want you to have it. Hmm. Why? Uh, as we all knew the dangers that night, but we went anyway. My age, we gotta Hell, man. find out to him. Oh, he locked oh. him in there. Smart. Oh, shit. Smart. I thought something happened. I'm like, what? It's funny because I'm like, he opened the toolbox and it going to tell him to close it. And now I see why. Yeah, some scared little goop just like you. I shot him right in the face with that rifle you were holding in there a while ago. Mm. It's not a day goes by that I don't think about it. You don't want that on your soul. I got blood on my hands. Mm. I'm soiled. So you don't dirty your hands? No. You're not built for this. So I'm a no. finisher. I'm a fixer, baby. <laughs> These damn child actors, man. <laughs> they trying. They trying. They were great. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about them three black dudes on the corner, though. Oh, that motherfucker. <laughs> One of them's from that movie, um, what is it, Glory? Can you watch my dog? Really? Oh, he's come a long way. He's come a long way. Yeah, she's old too. <laughs> she's old. This man saying goodbye to everybody, man. No, we want to. He need to go everybody. see Sue in the hospital. You want to smoke? Is you found me? Damn, bro. Look, when you're right, you're right, man. He called too early. It looked like she took forever to get there, though. The sun went down quick as fuck. What the fuck man? Standing in the street like Michael Myers. Any swamp rats in there? Yeah, yeah. You go ahead and watch out for your boyfriend. Because it was either he or you or someone who raped one of their own family. Hmm. Your own blood, for Christ's sake. They did fucking rape. Yeah, these y'all deserve to die. Todd's got not one second for you. Is that somebody behind him? Oh, okay, it's a neighbor. Bitch. <laughs> kind of jumpy, aren't we? A light. <laughs> Me. I've got a light. <laughs> I'm about to light y'all asses up. Mm, that's where we keep it, right there. Just gonna... Is this real? What? There's no way that like, just what? happened. You feel me? Like, my man's ain't. Was the play not to kill anybody, but to sacrifice yourself so they go to yeah, jail? Yeah, so they get locked up, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <sighs> what a, that what shit. Of plan is that? That's oh. the sacrifice of a fucking... <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, he said they don't talk, right? The community don't talk, so he had to... He had to bring it to light. It's the guy! He's my friend. Mm, didn't even have the. This time we have witnesses. Yep. That, that was the play. He looked like he about to take off and snuff one of their ass. Oh man, this is uh, what a fucking movie, man. I just, yeah, this I wasn't expecting that. Like, I had a feeling he might die, but not like a full sacrifice. No, like I that. knew he was gonna die because of everything that led up to it, but not like this. This is. I didn't think he was going with the full euthanization plan. Like, <laughs> I didn't think he was. Mmm. <sighs> Are they going to his funeral now? Mm, right, right, right. 
I swear, if none of his family there, I swear, bro. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> if if sons and nobody there, bro, I'm trying to drive my shit out right now, nigga, <laughs> before it comes. <laughs> Oh, Yo. Nah, his family got to be there. Though. Okay, they got, got to, right? Yeah. Walt Kowalski once said to me that I didn't know anything about life or death mm. because I was an over-educated 27-year-old virgin who held the hands of superstitious old women <laughs> and promised them eternity. He said it verbatim. I knew really nothing about life or death until I got to know Walt. Mm. And boy, did I learn. He wasn't the only one. And I want to leave my house oh, to the no. church because Dorothy would have liked it. To the church? She's pissed. Look at her. In Mr. Kowalski's will, I'm simply reading it the way it was written. Let's hear it. Yep. Push these headphones in. And I'd like to leave my 1972 yes. Grand Torino to my friend, Tao Van Lore. My friend? On the condition that you don't chop top the roof like one of those beaners. And don't put a big gay spoiler on the rear end like you see on all the other different cars. It just looks like hell. If you can refrain from doing any of that, it's yours. Damn. My friend though, he didn't say gook or no, I thought he was about to go crazy before saying toad like Oh man. Damn. Gotta say, Killstone. Yeah. Yeah. You almost got me, bruh. You almost got me. All right. There we have it. Gran Torino in the books. Shout out once again to Killstone. Thank you for this request right here. Man, what a, what, what a movie here. From beginning to end, it was definitely a, a great ride, man. I got to say, it was a phenomenal movie. Um, I definitely love what we were playing with here with, you know, the old kind of set in his ways. Uh, really don't give a shit. And then on top of that, he was sick, so he was kind of extra, you know, kind of like doubling down on it um, because he knew he was at his end. So I, I also love that about the the, the the character himself, Walt. Um but man, gotta say, I was I was Dick Lowe. Dick Lowe. <laughs> Dick Lowe. The water gates didn't fill up, but they were they were water levels rising. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it was a good film, man. How about you, Fomo? How you felt about this one? What did I say, man? About the FRR fam? <laughs> y'all be that perfect batting average, man. Y'all, y'all know how to request, man. Killstorm, shout out to you, bro. This was, I know, I be, I know, I be giving you shit in the Discord, man. We have our, we have our fun. That's why y'all all need to join the Discord, man. We have a lot of fun in there. And I know sometimes I have a very trollish uh, personality. I think we both do. But uh, yeah, definitely, we definitely both do. But this one, man, this one was really good. I wasn't, and I really wasn't sure what to expect because, like I said, Million Dollar Baby was yeah. probably like the only reference I had, and. He just played an a angry old man, which he also played in, in this movie. Um, but it just hit a lot harder, uh, you know, based on the theme that they played with. And this it's kind of interesting because this isn't like a new theme. Like I've seen similar movies where, you know, got the old guy who's set in his ways and he kind of gets broken down by someone, especially someone of a different race. Um, mm -hmm. Should actually, I just recently saw one with, with Jean-Claude Van Damme and like the MS-13 which actually was it was pretty fun um but this one right here is like knocks it out of the park so i wanted like what's that recipe that you could just take a you know very similar theme and just knock it out the park i, I know you know the writers the actors and stuff mm -hmm. like that but man there's i don't know like there's got to be some extra little magic that they sprinkle yeah. into to these to make them it's, more memorable it, it's called clint eastwood <clears throat> he, <laughs> he made it more memorable that's what it is his the magic he, he he had the magic bro his uh, just his delivery on everything the the way yeah. he was relentless with with the with the insults like bruh another level when it comes to insults holy shit grab your notepad 
<laughs> take some notes because this man got him mm-hmm. in plenty. So I, I think that's what that's what kind of sets this apart is I think uh, Clint Eastwood himself kind of knocked it out of the park with this one because it, it started from the very beginning with, with the funeral of his wife and how like his kids treated him and all that. And then just that entire sequence right in the very beginning kind of set the tone for what type of person he was. And then yeah. as we, you know, we went along throughout the film, we kind of seen that slowly break down but the way they did it too was really nice because they had the next door neighbor kid try to steal his car but then the what, what, what I think it's the way they connected together you feel me for me at least that's what hit you know um him trying to pay back for doing something that his family deemed you know disgraceful or you know dishonorable and I, I think that's what, what what made it hit for me to be honest yeah not only that the the daughter too like like honestly both of the kids for sure but like the daughter was i think the saving grace like without her he would have never made that connection he would have never softened up for them like the daughter was so good at just taking hits and disrespectful fucking and yeah exactly thick skin and 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 some sometimes turn it you know to a positive spin. Like sometimes she'll hit you back with, with her own shit, but yep. a lot of the times we'll walk, she would just kind of flip it around. Cause I feel like she just understood. Like she said, like, you know, yeah, you traditional, but you American. Like, so she, she's used yep. to dealing with her traditional ass, you exactly. know, family and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And she's just understanding how to break down the walls. Like, so she, uh, yeah, she played a really pivotal part in, in his um, growth. I agree. I agree. I think, yeah, without her, it would never succeed because she was persistent herself. She was just as persistent as the priest was. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I think that's something that I'm not going to say by, by experience, but I feel like that's what we kind of fall short nowadays. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kids would kind of hear something that he was saying and, and completely be dismiss- dismissive and just like, won't, no matter what, would never like mess with that person ever again. With her, mm-hmm. she she knew what it was like. You know, you like she said, you're traditional, but you're American. You know, this is it's different. You yeah, know? yeah. <sighs> I can't blame them though. I get it. Like you definitely you definitely can get a bit tired of trying to educate somebody. And but um, yeah, like you said, she was persistent just as much as the priest was, which was also another really good character. I thought he was gonna be a because like bro, the beginning was just kind of funny because it's just like. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, they hate their dad. Like, it's, you know, grumpy old man. And then he's just like shitting on everybody. So I'm just like, okay, like, I can see why they all hate him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then him and the priest had their little interaction. I'm just like, man, get this priest out of here, bro. Like, this man is not, you're not about to break this man's walls down. <laughs> like, but the priest actually ended up becoming one of one of my fave characters. Actually, at, at the end of the day, everybody who basically interac- interacted with Walt and like helped him grow as a character did phenomenal. Yeah. Like the daughter, Tao, son, son, Tao, or Sue, my bad, Sue, mm-hmm. Tao, and uh, the priest. Like, they all did amazing as well. So. And, and you want to know what's crazy? It's like, we, we're saying, like, they did amazing, right? Their acting wasn't even that good. You feel me? So I think that just goes to show you that the writing in this movie is probably where it shines the most. Because mm-hmm. even the acting was, a li- it was, pr- it was bad at moments like yeah no, you can yeah moments, you can right? see it <laughs> like, you can see how bad it was but it's still there was still something there i don't know how to like explain it like though it's it's weird it was magic because like you we don't get that type of feel when we watch like bad acting like in power or, you know like in other shows that we were like you know the acting kind of like in uh fargo season four with the bad acting but i don't think it, it hits as as hard as this like this movie right here hits even with the bad acting. So shout out to the writers, man, because y'all y'all did y'all thing. Whoever wrote this though, somebody need to check this man. Cause this man got every <laughs> single racist joke in the book. <laughs> that man was going crazy Bruh, the, in the writing room. The one that kind of went over my head, and then you you said it, and it's just like I, I wanted to internally I, I did internally die laughing. But it was the when they went to go buy the the two belts. <laughs> the rice bags. The rice bags. 
son, I laughed at everything. I, I, I pray, yeah, this man I pray was a y'all watching ain't going to be offended. I pray y'all don't get offended, bro, because yeah, right. I, I was laughing at everything, man. My bad. <laughs> that shit was funny, so he was not. Yeah. yeah, whoever was in that writing room, they was going bananas. I know they was cracking the fuck yeah. up. Like they probably was just like, we gonna see if this gets by, and if it does, man, it is what it is. But you know, just a quick comment about the acting. I think the reason why it wasn't like as bad as we probably put it, like put it on other shows and movies is because a lot of it really came from like the younger actors. So you yeah. kind of, you know. You, kind of got to give them they you know because what the hell i've never been on screen i don't know what the hell i would look like <laughs> you know on screen i might be a damn on on tubi levels you know what i'm saying <laughs> like so can't hate too much these, these some young kids doing what they got to do but yeah. <clears throat> and i also feel like just like this the setting too like the the film feels like uh i guess i old is the word that because i can't think of another word so i'm just gonna say old like rustic maybe or like it has that that feel so that also kind of helps soften the blow of it it's just like i don't know it's almost like watching a home movie mm. you know, i guess if that makes sense like okay no no maybe it does maybe it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> but also too what, what i definitely like loved about the film too is that it, it played around with the theme of uh you know him teaching um, not only the the neighbor, but pretty much everybody um, learned something from this man, and um, mm-hmm. I think that's just a great message to have nowadays. Because you already know the whole toxic masculinity and all this other you know bullshit that's running around nowadays. Um, yeah, I think it was nice to to actually have him kind of be a father figure. You know, that's what I took it as. Um, yeah, and it, and it. <clears throat> And it kind of hit home for me because, you know what I'm saying? I grew up without my father. So this this film definitely kind of hit. That's why I said this film almost had me. I'm going to say that there was two times this shit almost had me. You feel me? Um, but, yeah, man, I, I, I got to say, I like that. I just like that theme of, you know, him kind of being that father figure and showing them what it's like to be a man. Because we get that. Yeah. We get that. Um bit in the in the beginning when they're like you know he doesn't know how to be the, and shit, yeah he yeah. doesn't know how to be the man of the house and all that mm-hmm. and you know so I, I i'm i i just love that that entire kind of theme throughout the film that he actually became like his father figure and then actually taught him how to be a man and do the right thing like uh and then on top of that he really did teach he really did instill some shit in him with that final decision yeah, yep you feel me? Yep. Because if you, I, I think that's the thing. If he did go through with it, I think it it, it would have changed, um, a towel. Yeah. You feel it me? It lets him know it's okay to take yes. that type of yes. shit, those types of matters in your own hands. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. 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 So yeah, I I I just love that throughout the entire film, man. It, yeah, it hits home for me. Yeah, I mean everybody at the end. You know, they're, uh, well, at least until that will was being read, but, <laughs> you know, most people at the end actually had some actual emotions behind it because the way the beginning started, you would expect that church to be empty or people just sitting there half sleep ready for it to go. Like, so, and actually, I, I kind of like how they showed Tao as well. It looked like he was kind of looking at the suns, like, man, fuck the motherfuckers over there. I'm the real son now, like, because... <laughs> Like uh, like he's confessed to his um, to Padre like I don't even know my sons. He yeah, has a closer relationship with Tao. Yep. So to be honest, that that that's why he got the Torino. Like Mavanya, that shit. So yeah, they did some tangs, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, this was really good. It was, man. And then and then just for me, uh, just having it kind of center <clears throat> around the car, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, th- even with reading the title, I didn't know it was a car. Uh, but yeah, I thought that that was, that's higher throughout the entire film. Him breaking into the car, then him kind of doing the whole Miyagi thing, you know, kind of building him up, and then <clears throat> let him go on a date with the with the car mm-hmm. and all that. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I loved all of that. I thought that was just it was, it was great. 
It was great I seeing was this. Scared, game. bro. I thought that car was gonna get totaled. Yeah, bro. yeah, me too. I thought something was gonna happen <laughs> to the car as well. Um, mm -hmm. But nah, man. At the end of the, at the end of the day, Tao ended up getting the car. As long as he doesn't put no gay ass spoilers in the bag, no. <laughs> <laughs> Chop the top off. Just like the web. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, he went ham on the that shit. on the wheel. Had to let it. Had to had to let them be known that it is who who I'm the one who wrote this. Yeah, ain't not nobody facts. else gonna facts. write this facts. shit like this, bro. Facts. For real. And I loved the, the fucking granddaughter's face and the mother. Like that shit was too funny. I really thought y'all was gonna get that For shit. Real. Was spending out one in my moment garage with this smoking man. and shit. Man, that shit was beautiful. This um, was Damn, you made me laugh and I lost my chain of thought. So I, was, I was thinking of what to follow up. Uh, fuck it. I'll just throw a random thing out there. I love how the grandma was able to match the energy since the beginning. <laughs> just a, a yes. quick little. <laughs> yes, quick little yes, grandma. Yeah, no, facts. Facts. Spit yeah. out that big ass water. What? Her shit she was, was like, on. her shit was like, nothing. <laughs> she was anime about it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Um, yeah, and then the the you know the ultimate freaking climax was a. Uh, it was tough, man. I can't lie, cause when I seen when I seen Sue, I was just like, damn, like they fucked her up. And then I seen the blood on the legs, and I was just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. At first, I wasn't sure either. Yeah, I wasn't like, sure I was like, either. Uh oh, like. Yeah. But it just it, yeah, it just goes to show how weak. And predatory like these motherfuckers can be like you not even pressing up on the man who, who pushing up on you like yep. you going after the weaklings to try to you know make him retaliate and shit but that's just mad push just just run up on who you want to run up on like because honestly they kept getting deeper throughout the movie like at first it was like five six of them at the house there was like 12 of them motherfuckers yeah, so i'm like a at this point just run up in this crib all 12 of y'all and handle that shit so yeah, it just goes to show, and that's that's how it really is in real life too. Um, unfortunately, so <clears throat> especially Shorty was family too. That whole because at first I thought the cousin thing was a ruse. Like I thought he was just bullshitting just to. Um, I thought he was basically just trying to start shit with the the Mexican gang. Yeah. And like since he's seen another Asian cat getting bullied, he like that's my cousin like type shit. Yeah. But it seemed like yeah they really family like so. Yeah, it makes it even worse. It's like what yeah. the fuck are these dudes on like. This is the world we live in. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is. Um, it basically showed that they 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 are were not men. Basically, they they have no morals, no traditions, no mm -hmm. nothing. They weak, man. Yep. Insecure, need each other to hold each other up. Yeah, like buddy said, <laughs> I'm getting off of work. What y'all know about that? Yeah, not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Yeah, man. But I gotta say, man, this this one uh. I really did enjoy this film right here. This one was a great film. I think I could recommend this to pretty much any and everybody. I, I, I really would recommend this to any and everybody. So with that being said, Fomo, you got any final thoughts? You want to give it a score? Um, Yeah, man. Final thoughts is that this was a banger, bro. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Definitely, I enjoyed Clint Eastwood as an actor a lot more in this than Million Dollar Baby. Um, he had, a, I feel like he just had a lot more to work with and shine, uh, shine in this one over that. Um, but yeah, any other Clint Eastwood movies that y'all feel like are cool, go ahead, drop them in the comments. I might go watch some of those on my own time. I'm about um, to say, it's going to be a oh, hard yeah, yeah. one to follow. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be a hard one to follow. If, you know. <laughs> I don't know though, because isn't he, isn't he known for like Westerns? Yes. Because yes. I thought, yeah, so yeah. honestly, bro, it's crazy. I don't have much experience with Westerns at all. You so it would be kind of cool to go back and look and watch a, a Clint Eastwood movie on my own. Listen, right? we, we, we already got some requests that's going to bring us, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see some 70s, 60s. Yeah, 60s, I can't 60s wait. 50s, so, can't you know, wait. listen. Keep that on the hush. But let me get my skull. Only those get who skull. get here know about it. You know, we done yeah. a few. Um, I'm going to give it a nine. I really think this was a solid movie. I agree with you, bro. Like, I feel like I could definitely um, re uh, request this to basically anybody. Like, it's a banger. Like, yeah. Unless you' are gonna get offended, which I don't think. I don't think people. I ain't gonna say that. This is a nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I just gotta say shout out to the family that was living next door. You know, I think that's that's an ideal world I want to live in. You feel me? Where the not neighbors facts. are. Yeah, I, I'm not saying they have to be like friendly, friendly, but at least know your neighbor. You feel me? Yeah. And I think that's something that's important, especially in America. Like, um, I remember those days where you yeah. used to know your neighbors, and you know, it was kind of like a community. I don't. I, I I'm a bit older now, so I really don't get that anymore because I'm kind of on my own. But at the same time, I think uh, that's something that that I felt back in the days that I kind of yeah. I kind of miss. So that's that's uh, why I said I miss living in the Northeast. Bro. Yes, the Out Northeast. Here in Cali, yes, bro. it's not like that. Out here in Cali, you this close to your neighbors, but you don't want to be around them. Yeah, <laughs> back in the Northeast, <laughs> bro, they they put that pig in the rotisserie, hey. Yeah, exactly. over, like, yeah. Oh hell yeah, I'm coming, bro. Yeah, I think. Let's yeah, go. I think that's the. I'm guessing that's more on where you where you live at, because I do kind of get that feel up north a little bit, but there still is a bit of you know separation. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely, but definitely. you do get that a lot more up north just because of how people live. You feel me? Y'all not? It's not a thousand motherfuckers in cubicles, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's it's. It's different, but I love the family. I thought they were great bringing food over to Buddy. He ended up loving yeah, yeah. The, the dumplings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dump, oh yes, the dumpling, yes, the over, dumpling the, moment. over the jerky. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this movie got a lot of a lot of great things. Obviously, you know, it's been it's been a it's been a long long time. Ready to ready to get out of here. But I think I'm right right there with you, man. Nine. I think this this film was was amazing. Definitely will rewatch this, and I can't wait to see what y'all think about our reaction, man. Because this one was was a dope film. As as regular IMDb. fashion now, yep. Let's let's, let's get the IMDb. Let's see what the rating is. We we nines. Right. Let's, let's see what the people gotta say. IMDb says eight point one. Okay. Okay. And Rotten Tomato. 81 percent audience score 90 percent okay we so we, we're the audience we're the, yep, we're the audience <laughs> last time in the last movie we did you were the you were the the actual the critic the, yeah, critic, the critic and i was yeah. the, audience. the audience now we're yeah. both audience see different perspective different you know what i'm saying that's why i love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Love, yep, exactly that's why i love this uh but listen y'all it's been a great time can't wait to see y'all for the next request because we got a lot of requests coming. So yes. just just be prepared. There's going to be movies rolling out on Patreon. So stay locked in, man. All right? But if you're still rocking with us this long, man, we appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, thanks. Give a big thank you to Killstorm for this one, man. We appreciate you, yes, brother, sir. man. This one was a banger. Loved it. Um, but if y'all haven't already, man, like the video, comment down below, let us know what you thought of this movie. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. You know the goal. And if you're into them full length reactions, Patreon link will be in the description down below. F double R is out. Peace.